So somebody asked me about uh, using horses for regenerative agricultural practices. Well, basically this is, I'm bale grazing, paddock bale grazing the horses through the winter. And I'll lead you backwards. This obviously is their most recent place of eating hay and standing round and manuring. You can see both uh, little Miss Daisy Rose did a fresh pile of manure there and Ishka did a fresh pile of manure there as I've been standing here. That's returning organic matter to the soil. The hay, what they don't eat, is also a returning organic matter to the soil. And returning organic matter to the soil is part of the soil cycle and nutrient maneuverability that herbivores and ruminants have to f give fertility to plant life. Now, this next stage was the paddock that they were last in. You can see it's kind of mucky and muddy and we had a lot of rain and there's a bit of chewing up of the soil. And this is the remnants of the hay. Now, I haven't had time and I can't for the moment because of my uh, procedure I had on my neck, spread this hay out around the area. You can see the horses have done a bit of it here in their own way, they've done a bit of spread a bit. Now you come across here, this is a paddock that was before then, and I've spread the hay. I've also sown a bit of extra biodiverse seeds within this area. So you have, uh, they've been in that paddock since Thursday. Before that, they were in this paddock. So they're in that paddock less than a week. They were in this paddock about a week, 10 days, and likewise, it's to eat down the bale of hay. Now, all this organic matter is beneficial to the soil because it helps the soil have a form of aeration which allows oxygen to get into the soil and doesn't um, contribute to compaction. Also, the disturbance of the horses chewing up the ground for only a short period of time, only about a week in this particular area, means they're disturbing the historic seed bed. So this will activate a lot of the natural flora that is here. Now this again is, you can see the soil has been eating, well, I should say, the bacteria, and microbiology and worms and beetles and bugs have been pulling the hay down into the soil. So you can see there's a lot less here. So you've got more there and well, I haven't spread that bale and then the horses are there. So that's one, two, three. This is like about between, oh, I can't think off the top of my head, but it's about uh, six weeks could be six or more weeks between here and where the horses are now. So you've got one, two, three, four paddocks. So here is the fifth paddock. And some of these paddocks they've grazed for longer periods of time or been out on for longer periods of time because I would have the horses in the shed because of the bad weather. And I don't want them to turn this into a soup because that isn't beneficial. So this is a paddock. So this would be where they were grazing, oh, kind of probably in December. So you can see there's still bits of manure. There's still a bit of the hay that I spread around the place. Okay, but you can see the grass is coming through and there's a lot less of um, the, uh, the, carbon of plant, dead plant matter still on top of the soil. Pretty much only where um, I didn't scatter the piles thickly enough. Then we come here. Now, this is the corner. So a fence went down across here, okay? This is the next paddock. Here you can see there's still lots of hay on top, organic matter, but the green is greening up even more and the dogs are playing. Now, the next line, and they left a lot of hay behind, but that's fine. You can see the line is right there. Let me walk up to that. 
So you can see the round bale of hay was here. The round bale for there was a bit further over. And here you can see where the electric fence was. They grazed underneath. Uh, and this is, so this is electric fence where they graze underneath. This is what winter growth is. Okay. So right here is where the electric fence was. Now we keep coming through here and you see how little, a lot less manure is here on top of the soil. And you come to the next one, which is, this would have been in eh, October, November, I think. I can't quite remember my dates, but look at how much less manure there is on the surface. There's no evidence of hay. The hay bale, you can kind of see the shadow of the hay bale right there. It's, let me, if I step back, I don't know if you can see, maybe you can't see it. Maybe the camera isn't good enough, but there was a shadow of a hay bale here and they ate more of this hay because they were uh, out a lot more because it was dry weather. So they ate more of the hay. In those other places, the hay would get wet and moldy and they wouldn't eat it. They'd pull it out and scatter it. And then I would rescatter it. So we keep going and over here was their last paddock, which has grown remarkably more. Now there's still bits of manure, but it's definitely not as much manure. So basically what you're seeing is the ecology working, a form of bale grazing. So if we walk through time, you'll see most of the manure is gone in that first paddock. And we keep walking the tractor marks because they were putting some fence posts in. That's not part of the equation. But if we keep walking within time, a period of months, this is a period of months of the winter months from I think September or October, we started bale grazing up here. And you keep going. And this is around Christmas time, I think keep going and these are the last four episodes of bale grazing and you can see where the electric fence was is right along here and how they grazed out a bit where they could underneath the electric fence and all this chewed up stuff as the biology in the soil is activated and the spring warmth comes this soil will all settle down unless we get a drought and then it'll harden off into kind of rocky land. But all of this, now when I get healthy enough, I'm going to spread that all around this area here. And then the biology, soil biology, will bring it back into the soil. So that is how you regenerate with horses or bale grazing in winter and how people do it with cattle. So when the horses finish this paddock, sorry, this round bale of hay, we bring the paddock here and I will fence off a square and they will graze this off and then bale graze the hay to a um, certain degree and that is what bale grazing does. And that's how you use horses or cattle for regenerating the soil. Now, this is the first winter that I've done this sequence of bale grazing. Uh, for the past series of winters, I've been using the opposite side here of um, bale grazing and I'm giving it a rest this winter. Um, towards the end of the winter, I might get them into this section of the field. But this, this would have been three lines, one, two, three, and would have had uh, four to five bale grazing plots going up like that and back down, or no, they go up because this is the track to get to water is along here, which they get to their water tank. So this is fenced off to rejuvenate. You can see there's an old manure pile right there. 
but this I fence this off both for sheep and horses so that this has a long recovery period. And this you can see there was a bale grazing occurred here last winter and there's still a bit of organic matter. This was one of the very thick bales. But you see that stuff is um, making delicious soil under there. It all takes time and it is a slow process and you just don't want to overstock. I've got my two mares and the pony. Used to have Marco Polo. But this is regenerates the soil and fertilizes the soil for the sheep to come on. So the plan is that when the lambing occurs, the sheep will come into here and have fresh grazing. And hopefully that's, this is the end of January. So this will be February, February. So I might end, I will probably go in there and bale graze a bit in there as well. But most of this will be um, what I bale graze and regenerate the soil for the sheep because I want to keep this field mostly for the sheep. The area which the horses have been on will be fenced off from the sheep so that the soil can recover and the um, plant life can recover. So the sheep probably won't get into this field uh, until April, May, maybe maybe even into June. Oh, look, there's more manure. That's uh, food for the soil and the microbiology and bacteria and insects. Everybody loves good manure. It's so healthy for the soil and the biodiversity. But I have one, two other fields the one just on the other side of that fence and one on the other side of the drive, both of which the sheep will go into before they come into here. But the area that the horses have bale grazed will be fenced off from sheep so that it has a real chance to recover because it's all trying to make soil more aerated, more uh, organic matter, more diversity of plant life. And there's areas here, we are on a limestone shelf there's areas here where you can't get the, the um, stakes don't go very far down because we're solid rock here. So it's a very dry field, which definitely helps. So I'm trying to build soil as well as rejuvenate soil. So hopefully that's an explanation of bale grazing using horses during the winter months. And it leaves it so that the field can be productive through the winter and recover its biodiversity. So if we come down to the soil here, ground level here, you can see there's clover coming up. There's a daisy coming up. There's a dandelion coming up. Um, let's see, there's different varieties of grasses. This is, this is a one kind of grass. This is another kind of grass. So that's the biodiversity. Here's um, more daisies. This is a kind of um, buttercup. Uh, let's see, what else is there? This field also has a high yarrow population, which is really good. They have really, really deep roots and things like that. Here's a whole series of, um, here's some dandelions. There's one even blooming. So, and there's nettles and more daisies right down there. That's a daisy, more daisies there. So there's lots of varieties of plant life that are allowed to recover and rejuvenate while the horses are paddock grazed, bale grazing to rejuvenate soil. Hopefully that gives you a small exclamation or, or gives you a small idea of how bale grazing and using herbivores to rejuvenate and stimulate soil life, carbon sequestration, and improve the soil biome.